Today is our last day uh, in Budapest, sadly, before we head to Croatia. And we are exploring on the Buddha side. Yes. So if you haven't seen the last video, we mentioned that Budapest is split in two by uh, the Danube River. So today we're going to go and see the chain bridge. Which connects the two yep. over the river. Um, Buddha Castle, Buddha Castle, the Fisherman's, Fisherman's Bastion, which is like a lookout point where you can look back onto the Pesh side and see like the Parliament. Yeah, apparently the Parliament building is, is like massive and is definitely something that you have to see. I think those are the main things. Main things? Yeah. So there's quite a bit of walking. So we're, it's a gym clothes sort of day and honestly it is just so hot here. It is really. It's cranking up about 35 degrees. So we've left it quite later in the afternoon so that hopefully it's a little bit, a little bit cooler. But I think it's time to hit the streets and go and join some of the crowds. <laughs> of all these different places that we've been around Europe like we've just popped out and it kind of feels a little bit like Prague but kind of in the laneways it feels sort of like Berlin and yeah it's like a really cool mix of everything and it's just it's just stunning isn't it like it is. in the park right here there's a massive statue just the buildings up over the back here are just incredible and old and there's just so much beauty on them and then we come around, we think the uh, the fisherman's spot is out there, Parliament down and around the corner that we can't quite see. There's the castle over there, and then we think this is Chainbridge. So it's very walkable as well, we love that. We're not sure if this is an event or something, but or is this always a walking street? We actually genuinely don't know. We thought that it was for cars and everything as well, but there's um, all these gates and everything around, there's security all over the place, so maybe there's an event or something on. But. It's an awesome place. We've got some stats on this place actually, some uh, some KBs, some knowledge bombs. So this bridge is the first that, that was built in Budapest that connected the two sides. It was in about the mid 1800s and at the time it was sort of one of the largest in, in the world because it's 202 meters. I'm not sure if it's the same now, they might have, I don't know if they've extended or made it bigger or what the story is there, but I imagine that the length probably can't change much being like the, the banks, but who knows, maybe it's been developed further. Um, one of the other things that made it, that was one of the stories that we really liked about it, in 2001 there was a Hungarian stunt pilot and somehow he's been, he's flown along here over the river, flipped upside down and taken the plane underneath the bridge upside down. He was the first person to do it, so I mean if you're looking for something unique and you're a stunt pilot, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta really stretch yourself, don't you? <laughs> Not sure what's going on over here, but we can hear some music and some drums and some tunes cranking out from over here. It sounds like it's live as well. And this is the castle. And much like Prague, actually, there's this tiny little funicular thing that you can take to the top. I don't think we'll bother with that. The one in Prague was fun, but it was like, I don't know, it takes two minutes to go up or five minutes to, to walk it. So I think we'll just explore. Maybe we'll explore by ourselves. But it's cool that we've been able to sort of walk around on top of the bridge. Didn't expect that. made our way on top of the castle now, or into the castle grounds, sorry, up the top. And we've found all these random ruins here. You can see little gateways there. It's all uh, 
I wonder how old that actually is, but there's no signs or anything to say what it is. It's just fenced off from everything else. But you can see the difference between the old stuff and then look how fresh and new all of this is. All the big statues and everything there. And then all of these buildings, which we don't actually know. We haven't found a map yet. We're not 100% sure what all of these are, but it's clear that up the top here, this place is just as large as we sort of suspected. These castle grounds always surprise us. Seems like there's some sort of festival on, that's what all the music and everything was. It's like a medieval festival or folk festival or something, so a lot of these places we can't access, which we're assuming we otherwise would have been able to. So instead, we're going to go to Fisherman's Bastion, try and get a view. by not having full access to uh, to the other side of the castle. I was really enjoying walking around these streets. It's nice, especially when you find a shady one like this. Yeah, we've actually, <laughs> so there's a main street that's running parallel to our right here and we were like, let's just walk one street back. It's so peaceful. It's so peaceful. There's like, there are thousands of people up here as you would expect. We really struggle with, it's hard because we, we travel full time, but we really don't particularly like really touristy, really busy, crammed areas. Yeah, like how about that one. sign we saw back there? Oh, a tourist menu. Tur literally, like, it was like, here's a tourist menu for you. Like, the last that is going to be. Want to see. I know. So, we've had a few comments recently when we've been to places like Plovdiv in Bulgaria, and people were like, oh, you went at the wrong time because there was no one there. And we were like, no. No, no, that was, okay, that was like perfect for us. We love it when it's sort of it's quiet. And then we got up in Mykonos so that we could yeah. experience it with less people. And we don't really want that atmosphere, but we want to feel the legitness. We want to feel yeah, the what, what's the place That's actually like. Piece of advice if you're going to come up to Buddha Castle, bring your own water from down and down. <laughs> we just went into a restaurant because we only have we only have card at the moment. We're out of cash. We paid thirteen hundred for two bottles of water. What have we been paying at this? Market? We've been paying about basically about two hundred for one point five liters, and we got two six hundreds for thirteen hundred. This one's not even cold. <laughs> <laughs> and the service was angry. Yeah, she was she not like happy us. with us when we asked if it was too cold, but no, there was not only one cold. We've just stumbled across what we think might genuinely be the nicest church. Sorry, I almost hit Stacy with the camera. Might just genuinely be the nicest church that we've ever seen. It's actually smaller than a lot of the ones that we've sort of spotted traveling around Europe, but it's so small and so quaint and so detailed. And then it's got this awesome roof tiling as well. We're sort of a bit blown away by it. And then down here, these spires that you can see, there's rumors that they apparently inspired Walt Disney. If you can think about the logo with that little ding, 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 thing, is that what it does? definitely the most castly of castles that we've been to. A lot of the grounds can be called castles but they don't look like what you think a fairy tale castle is like. I'd also love to say that it's um, quiet and really peaceful but there was a lot of people around so now we're heading down. We're going to try something. We're going to walk down opposite direction on the back street and see if we can find a better view back over Parliament. We failed, we failed to find a better viewpoint, but we did stumble across this really cute park. I'm talking really so quietly peaceful, because yeah. it's like very quiet in here. We just look like the main streets are all up here and we've yeah. just popped down. It's so nice in here. Yeah, so we love Budapest. Wish we had more time, but Schengen visas, too, yeah. just our not visas in our favor. That we have to leave, but we are excited to be heading to Croatia next. So I hope you've enjoyed at least seeing the 
let's just say the surface level of Budapest because there's yeah. so much more there's so much to do I think we're gonna have to come back here at some point uh, once you start sort of googling around or trying to find articles on what there is to do here we were overwhelmed with how much options there was. There Even was just, just walking down the street there's just like little laneways that you mm. want to nip off into. So we will definitely be back at some stage but hopefully you've enjoyed these uh, yeah, first couple of videos but thank you so much for watching and we'll, we'll catch, catch you in the, in the comments. comments. Bye! Bye.